beauties and welcome back to I Am Beautiful Hustler TV. If you are new to my channel, just go ahead and click that subscribe button and turn on your bells because you do not want to miss any of my new posts. Now today I'll be doing a lace wick installation with two braids and crimps and today's hair is provided by Dom Mealy Hair. I totally forgot to actually um, do like the unboxing of this wig. So I did insert uh, two pictures of what the body wave what the body wave wave the body wave wig jesus god damn um i took a picture of what the wig looked like fresh out of the um box like with the hair on the mannequin so this is like i mentioned a lace frontal uh 26 inch body wave wig and today as i mentioned i will be start installing it on my client and the style will be the braids with the crimps so i hope you guys stay tuned to this video be sure to give this video a thumbs up at the end of watching and thank you guys for tuning in to i am beautiful hustler tv So as you know, um, I'm going to go ahead and do the ball cap. I already cleaned her skin with the alcohol, did the ball cap method and everything like that. So I'm just jumping straight in to this video and adding the adhesive to the hairline so I can, you know, lay down the wig. So I'm just going to go in with my beautiful Hustle Lace Made Adhesive. And I just want to take the time out to say thank you guys to everybody who ordered my products over the weekend of May 14th till you know may 15 19 i mean you know between may 14 to the 19 um i completely sold out over the weekend so uh, thank you guys and all orders have been shipped so if you have not done so already please check your emails for the update on your tracking numbers and i do have a new batch on the way that will be here uh next week so i will have more glues going up so if you missed this sale be sure to catch the next one and um, I do have the spreaders in stock this time. So if you did order last time and you didn't get the spreaders, the spreaders will be in stock on the website on next week. So be on the lookout for that as well. But um, jumping back into the video, I went ahead and applied all the layers of the adhesive. And now I'm just laying that right into that glue. And I'm going to blow dry on the heat setting and just do my typical melt, uh, you know, melting process. Um, I'm going to blow dry and comb that lace on in and then I will begin to raise off the extra lace and tack everything down. Now, after razoring off the extra lace, I still feel like her lace was a little too light. So, I went in with the darker foundation in that level 16 palette. And I just applied it right on top of that lace. And it just blended so much more better. And it gave me the melt that I was going for. Um, you do want to avoid the lace looking light, especially on darker skin girls. So, make sure you do use the correct foundation. Or if you have to go a shade darker, then feel free to do so. Just whatever makes the lace blend the best. And now I'm just going to go ahead and repeat the same steps to the, uh, you know, to this side as well. And now that everything is tapped down, I'm just going to go ahead and spray that hairline with that Tresemme holding spray and just secure it with that melt belt to get that lace extra melted into her skin.
So after letting that melt belt set for about five to ten minutes or until that um stuff the stuff <laughs> until the hood spray is completely dry you can go ahead and remove it and as you can see it's super melted into her skin and now we're going to go ahead and begin the styling process now for starters i am going to use that wax stick and i am starting off with the middle part because i'm going to be doing two sections to uh get the um what's the what you call it to get the top like really really straight um and you know the little square sections that i'm going to create for where the braids will be because all of it is not going to be braided in the front like you may have seen in my last front to retouch video i would just um braid just like a square of the hair on each side so for starters i need to get that middle part you know nice and centered that way i can create um, my equal section parts and the little white balls you see is the wax stick that kind of like crumbled off so you could just like take that off but uh, I'm just going to um, part off those two square sections and those will be the section I will use to do you know to do the braids with but the other section that will be hanging down underneath that section all of that will be crimped with the rest of the hair so you guys will see what i mean once i get into that part but for right now i'm just hot combing and making sure the top is super flat before i start to um part off that square section for the braids And I'm also going to go ahead and um, wax stick underneath that area so I could just go ahead and hot comb and press out all of that section around that braids because you want everything to be super neat all around the hairstyle. Um, so I'm just going to hot comb that out and then I'm going to also uh, pull out the section for my baby hair before I even braid. I'm going to pull down the section for my baby hair and actually swoop it before I even do the braids so it's already kind of like in place. And I will go ahead and just raise off those baby hair pieces and using my holding spray to swoop that baby hair in the blow dryer on the heat setting to um, mold it and dry it into place. And now that I have completed the baby hair, I'm just going to go ahead and start from the center of the very front where the part is and begin to stitch braid um, the braid right on in. And I'm just pinching little pieces, just make sure the braid is nice and tight and secure and it's super flat to the scalp. And I'm just going to take my time and braid all of that hair that I sectioned off in that little square going in a diagonal. I didn't want it to go straight back. I wanted to kind of like go from the middle to a diagonal going downward. And I'm just going to braid that all the way down.
Now that that braid is complete, I'm just going to take some Tresemme and I spread it right on top of that braid just to make sure that everything is super sleek and super neat um, as it is. And you just want to go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. So I did both sides here, one side on camera, one side off camera. And at the end of the style, I'm going to go ahead and crisscross those braids. But now we're going to get into crimping this hair. Now I am using my bed head um, four level crimper. And I am crimping on level one. Um, you can get this bed head crimper from Amazon. That's where I got mine. I think it was about $40. Um, I will have to look it up and see exactly the link for it. But I have this crimper for a while and I love it because it has the four levels. Um, and the higher the level, the bigger the crimp size it is. And at first, I wanted to do the bigger crimps, but I wasn't even paying attention to, this, to the level I had the crimper on. I didn't realize I had it on level one until I was already done with the first crimp. And I did not want to switch the size and, like, you know, throw it all off. So I just crimped the whole thing on this level one, which the crimps that came out really pretty. I just wanted the bigger size, but you can choose the size that you want to do between level one and level four. And just like a quick little, you know, thing you could do to get your crimps to be really, really, um, like, crimped. <laughs> like, you want them nice and, like, I don't know the word I'm looking for, crisp. Um, I am using a holding, holding spray as I crimp it. I'm taking holding spray and spraying it on their hair and then crimping it on down. And that will help keep your crimps all together and, you know, like, fresh looking and frizz free. And I'm just going to continue to crimp the hair all the way down until mo all of it, not most of it, but till all of it is complete. So I'm just going to show you guys another clip here and I will, you know, kind of bring you back when I'm almost done with the crimping process. And right here is the back view with the crimps look like they are so freaking cute. And I am just taking that Tresemme, doing the same process throughout the whole entire head, applying that um, Tresemme and then going in with that crimper and just crimping it on in. It looks so, so good. Gotta love crimps. And I especially love crimps on body wave hair uh, the most because it's just like, ugh, it's everything. But... Um, once I finish crimping everything together, I am going to take those two braids and bobby pin it down and then end up crimping the, taking a loose to plait some and then crimping the end of that part so I can blend it with the rest of the hair. And then I will go ahead and conceal, um, you know, black spray and conceal the part as my finishing touch. So uh, just stay tuned.
And I just took some holding spray and just sprayed the curls. And now I'm just smoothing everything into place. I don't necessarily comb the crimps out. I just make sure the top is smooth and in place. And now, as I mentioned, I'm going to take the two braids and just uh, bobby pin them together in the back. And then take a loose some of that braided part and just crimp it into place with the rest of the hair. And then once I do that, I will black spray and conceal the part, um, you know, just to make sure, make it super, super crisp. And that would pretty much sum up this tutorial. Um, stay tuned to the very, very finishing results and the, you know, the video at the end. And let me know down in the comments and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And let me know what you think. And once again, I want to thank you guys for tuning in to I Am Beautiful Hustle TV. Stay tuned and I will see you guys next time.